today I want to talk about photographing landscapes in any weather conditions. Whether the conditions are good, whether the conditions are bad, whether it's raining, snowing. We won't go out, let's say, for a sunset if there's no clouds in the sky because we know most of the time it's going to be a boring sunset. Rarely will we go out if it's raining or it looks very overcast. But what happens when you're traveling? You're at a beautiful location and you've just got to put up with the conditions. Are you going to, to say, well, look, it looks like it's going to rain or it looks like it's going to snow. I'll just use my phone. I look at it very differently. Challenging light, challenging conditions are a challenge for us. And this is how we become better landscape photographers. And I've learned over many years of traveling that you've just got to learn to put up with the conditions and you have to make the best of those conditions. And believe me when I say that sometimes photos you get in really bad weather, in conditions that you're not comfortable in taking photos with, could reap you some beautiful photos. This is what I had to put up with recently when we traveled to Tasmania and we spent two days at Cradle Mountain. Cradle Mountain is a very unique place in Tasmania. It has its own weather conditions. You can ring up the tourist center and say like, is it gonna snow today during the snow season? And they'll go like, well, could snow in the morning, might be sunny in the afternoon, it could rain in the morning, sun could come out at lunchtime, it could snow in the afternoon, or it might be just sunny all day. The conditions change hour on hour. And off the first day when we got there, we checked in our hotel quite late. It was around three o'clock in the afternoon. We didn't have much time. The weather didn't look too good. Let's just see what it looks like because tomorrow we have all day that we could spend at Cradle Mountain. And as I show you some of these photos of that afternoon and of the next day, you will see how the conditions changed. I just don't want to show you just photos to boast about. Look at the photos I took. When I go out photographing landscapes, whether I'm with my family or whether I'm by myself, and I'm thinking like, okay, well, I'm going to take some photos, but I'm going to take some photos because I don't want you to make very common mistakes that I saw quite a bit when we were at Dove Lake near Cradle Mountain. And also the next day when we spent about three hours walking through, really it's like a tundra, an open valley. And sometimes the photos I took, I thought were going to work out, but they didn't. And then photos that I didn't think were going to work out, worked out. And some of these photos are panoramas. I want to show you the difference between panoramas, six by fours. I'll put a link here before we start of a recent video that I uploaded, panoramic photography while traveling. So let's take a look at these photos now. So we got dropped off near the visitor center. I could see the weather coming in. It looked like it was closing in. You could, can't really see Cradle Mountain. It's right in the center covered in cloud. So I quickly raced down to the boardwalk and I captured this panorama. I just wasn't thinking correctly. I think like, oh, okay, I've really got to get this panorama in. And I rushed myself. You can see right down the bottom left, there's the fence there for the boardwalk. And it's only when I got back to the hotel at night, and I was looking through the images, I saw that there was no way that even in Photoshop, I could get rid of it. It was just an unsightly thing. So I stitched it up just to show you my mistake. The next day I came back and I took this panorama. Look at the difference between the next day and the day before. The weather's changed a little bit, but can you see my point of view? It is very different. Why? Because instead of just walking up onto the boardwalk, I just took four steps in front of the boardwalk and look what I could have gotten if I hadn't rushed myself. I should have known better. Lesson learned, but I still end up with a very nice photo. Now, after taking this photo, I came back towards my wife and our daughter. You can see the weather closing in and look at this photo here. There's rain above Cradle Mountain and there's rain in front of Cradle Mountain. And this weather system was coming in very quickly. It's hard to understand the amount of wind. It was blowing a gale. It was freezing cold. Within three minutes, it went from this to this. So we're at Cradle Mountain and it is snowing. Can you see all the snow there? How often do we get a chance to photograph snow? This was my first time to photograph snow and I wasn't gonna pass up the opportunity. The problem was because of the wind, I had to constantly 
wipe my lens and it really displays the landscape don't just think to take photos when the weather is good because you might think oh you know this photo's ruined there's snow everywhere on it no leave it like that it gives emphasis to your photo cradle mountain and dove lake which cradle mountain looks over are renowned for two things one cradle mountain and two the famous boat shed and so many people take photos of this boat shed quite a few of them make very common mistakes here are some few photos to show you the drawbacks and to show you how you can get the best photos if you go to cradle mountain but also if you go to some place where there is a particular feature and you want to photograph it because it takes a bit of patience and it takes a bit of foresight to say yes this is how i'm going to photograph this this is taken on the path leading towards the boat shed i've got the boat shed down the bottom here cradle mountain above it it is a flat image you can't see the entrance of the boat shed all you can see is just the roof and the side of the boat shed it's not even an image worth posting now if you follow me on facebook all these photos that i'm going to show today will be uploaded to facebook once this video comes out so if you want to see all these photos one at a time instead of seeing on video i'll put a link in the description and you can look through all the photos on facebook take a look at this photo that i got when i walked down to the bottom of the boat shed now understand this is a very popular place there was a lot of people around and i just waited patiently for my time to take photos i really want this image it is very nice this is a six by four don't just think that you're just going to take six by four. There's a lot of empty sky. There's just water in the foreground. So I cropped it to 16 by nine. More emphasis because you've brought everything closer. This is the image that I really like. That's a great image to take. While I was there, I also took a panorama because I really like taking panoramas when I go. Six by four is great. Cropped it to 16 by nine is even better sometimes. But when you photograph a panorama, it gives your viewer such a much broader view of what you're seeing. Now we see the boat shed, we see Cradle Mountain, and then we see this huge mountain. The late afternoon sun is just shining on it. Looks beautiful. So now take a look at this photo of this boat shed, taken in portrait orientation. Looks very nice. You can see the path is just leading down we've got cradle mountain just in the background this is in landscape orientation can you see how the portrait orientation works so much better than landscape i moved just a little bit and i thought that this was going to look really nice but i walked around the boat shed and took this photo here looking totally the opposite direction now we're seeing the entrance to the boat shed it looks so much better and I framed it in such a way where the boardwalk just comes in from the left and just ducks around, leads you to the boat shed. And then you can see all the way on the right there, that's the path that you walk down to Dove Lake from the visitor center. Now look at this photo here of Cradle Mountain. I'd walked a bit further on the track. I zoomed in a bit just to get Cradle Mountain. And I thought to myself, when I get home, I'm going to edit this photo and it's going to be magical. Well, it's not. It's a flat image. There was sunlight on Cradle Mountain, but because there was no sunlight on this area, it was very dull. Although it looks nice, we can see the Cradle Mountain, there's no real oomph in it. Take a look at this photo. I walked a bit further along. Cradle Mountain is half covered. You can only see the top of it. And there's this big rock in the foreground. But I really like this rock here because it sort of covers the foreground and it leads you, the eyes lead you to cradle mountain i've cropped it to 16 by 9 look at the difference between 16 by 9 and 6 by 4 although i've got this rock face in the foreground it's really not sort of in your face it's just there on the bottom and it leads you towards cradle mountain see how sometimes you've just got to think and this is why sometimes you take different photos different viewpoints don't just take half a dozen photos of the same thing if you're going to take half a dozen photos of a particular subject Take it in different ways, portrait, landscape, so that when you get home, you've got different photos of the same subject and you can say, yep, this looks great. This one that I thought looked great doesn't look great at all. This is a six by four of this little lagoon. The clouds are coming over and I thought like, well, it looks really nice. Before I walked away from this, 
I took a set of images to turn to a panoramic image. And look at the panoramic image. It looks so much different than the 6x4. There's nothing wrong with the 6x4 image. And if you're not confident in taking panoramic images, you'd be very happy with this 6x4 image. I hope that this video has shown you that even in adverse weather conditions, you can still get great photos. And if the video has helped you at all, give it a big thumbs up. Stay safe, enjoy your landscape photography in any weather condition, and I'll see you next time.